of the other stones. There are six stones out there. Thanos already has the power stone because he stole it last week when he decimated Xandar. He stole the space stone from me. What's going on, movie guards? If you're new to the channel, my name's Christian, and welcome to Sea Roll Productions, you guys. All right, it's looking like Nova is going to be making his debut in the Marvel Cinematic Universe into Phase 5. Now, Nova's a character I'm extremely excited about, and I can't wait to see some of his backstory. Because realistically, when you, when, you, when you come at this at a realistic approach, Xandar was destroyed. Now, Richard Ryder is a human, but he's a part of the Nova Corps, and the Nova Corps was on Xandar. Thanos decimated Xandar, as said in Avengers Infinity War. So, at this point, he had already had to be somewhat established already, right? That would make sense. Unless they go the route where he, he hasn't been established yet, but there was a survivor of Xandar getting off of Xandar before Thanos decimated Xandar and got to Earth and gave him the Nova Corps power, right? It would, it would make sense if they went that route too. But I cannot wait to see Richard Ryder suit up and how his powers are going to look. It, it's going to look badass. And Phase 5 is going to be massive, huge, ginormous. I cannot wait to see how they incorporate all of these new characters into the MCU. Because like I've said before, this is the rebuilding phase of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This is the time where they introduce a lot of new characters to see if the fans fall in love with. There are a bunch of new characters making their way to the big screen, you guys. A, a bunch. Especially with the Eternals dropping next year. And you have Shang-Chi. Like, there's so many new characters that they're going to be reintrodu reintroducing and introducing. Fantastic Four, the X-Men. Marvel's going to do their take on these beloved characters and do them the right way of how they should have been in, you know, the live-action iterations. Um, but I'm excited. I am so excited to see what the future holds for some of these characters. Let me read you guys some of this article from the MCU Cosmic. A fan favorite character is on the way to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and he may be showing up sooner than many expected. Back in May, MCU Cosmic reported that development on Nova had begun at Marvel Studios. That followed comments by Kevin Feige a year earlier when he told comicbook.com that Nova was a character with immediate potential. In May, it was hard to tell how far the development was on the project, but now I have a better idea. According to very reliable sources, Nova appears to be one of the big characters planned for a Phase 5 debut alongside of Blade, the Fantastic Four, and the Mutants, and how it's been in development for a while. It could be relatively early in Phase 5 as well. Right now, the only Phase 5 movies we have release dates for were for Black Panther 2, May 6, 2022. There also, there also is a February and July MCU releases in 2022. Not to mention any of the movies, movies planned for 2023. So where Nova would be, so where Nova would appear is difficult to predict at this point. Interesting. Interesting stuff. We also can't ignore Disney Plus as Miss Marvel, Moon Knight, and She-Hulk show. Marvel's not against introducing a new character there before moving them into the movies. There's also a possibility of him debuting in a cosmic movie like Captain Marvel 2 or even like Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Especially when we're talking cosmic because Nova is out in the cosmic world. Adam Warlock potentially as well. I cannot wait. I am so excited to see what is going to happen in the future of the MCU, guys. Especially from a cosmic standpoint. Because obviously I feel like the next threat can be cosmic. Could be Annihilus, potentially. I just read the first part of Annihilation and that shit was golden. That shit was great. Nova was in there. Damn near, you know, Annihilus destroyed all of the Nova Corps. And he has the Nova, the Nova Force inside of him, which makes him extremely dangerous. But uh, I can't wait, man. I wonder who they have in, in mind to play Richard Ryder. 
it's gonna be pretty interesting especially with like Ghost Rider coming out too you know there's so many so many new characters Marvel's gonna be introducing I cannot wait to see from all their Disney Plus shows from the people who are gonna be introducing those Disney Plus shows like the whole Wanda and Vision Loki like who they're gonna introduce She-Hulk Moon Knight Miss Marvel Falcon and the Winter Soldier like all these shows have potential to be introducing other characters as well I can't wait, man. Even in the movies, you know, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, Thor, Love and Thunder, like Jane Foster's Thor. That's a brand new character that's going to be introduced in the MCU. I can't wait. I'm thrilled, you guys. Post your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about Nova making his debut in Phase 5 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. What are your thoughts? What are your opinions, you guys? Post your comments down below, you guys. And thank you for taking time today for watching C-Roll Productions.